Okay. Simply to reiterate the points that Ambassador DiCarlo made, what we've just done is to see six nations, uh, Cyprus, Japan, Norway, Singapore, the United Kingdom, and the United States, add their signatures to the New York Declaration. This is a political commitment by those six states to adopt the best industry practices, the best management practices that ships can take to protect themselves against the threat of piracy. It was initiated by four of the leading flag registry states in the world, that is uh, Bahamas, Liberia, Panama, and the Marshall Islands. We hope to see additional countries uh, sign this. It reflects what is the growing trend within the shipping community around the world, and it recognizes the fact that the most important measures that the world can take right now are self-defense measures, simple protective measures that will help ships to avoid the risk of being pirated in this region. So thank you very much. Yes, sir. When you talk about measures, do you mean military measures? What kind of measures exactly? The measures, the key point here is that these are measures that have been worked on by the industry themselves, by not only American shippers, but from around the world, and are now being codified by the International Maritime Organization. And they are non-lethal measures, that is, uh, they do not include at this time military measures or security, rather they are steps that an individual ship or a shipping company can take to protect itself. The military aspect, the more than 20 nations that are now patrolling in a cooperative way, the Gulf of Aden and nearby waters, is a separate question, and one, of course, that will be discussed tomorrow at the contact group plenary. But this relates to our political commitment by now these 10 states to get the states that fly our flags to take the best measures they can to protect themselves. Yes? Would it, I mean, on this, would, would adopting these measures, does it have any um, kind of insurance ramifications? Is there, are, you, are you proposing that, like, the insurance that ship give, ships give? I mean, what, it, what's, this, what's the sense of kind of codifying them? What does it actually do for, for the shippers that, that adopt it? Yeah. Uh, you're going to drag me into an area where I'm not the best expert, certainly on shipping insurance. Uh, we believe that it is in the industry's own best interest to adopt these kind of measures, that it has a positive effect primarily on their susceptibility to being pirated. If it has a positive effect on insurance rates as well, which I think would be logical, that's also an economic benefit to the industry. But what we're seeking to do first is to have states accept responsibility that any ships flying their flag will adopt these best measures. Well, on this resolution, the 1851 that allows the policing of it, some in Somalia are now questioning whether the, the consent given by then President uh, Yusuf was given right before he came out of power is, 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 is no longer binding, or they've asked the UN for a copy of his consent and they haven't gotten it. Are you aware? There seems to be some controversy, at least among the Somali parliament, about the resolution. Now, it's a new topic to me. I'll look into it, but I don't have anything to say now. Do you, do you expect to have uh, more partners in this declar declaration? Yes. Is the UN a partner also in this declaration? Well, the uh, no, because the UN does not have f ships that fly the United Nations flag, per se. Uh, but the International Maritime Organization, part of the broader UN international family, uh, is the one that is setting these standards in a cooperative process among all the industries and the major uh, flag states. Do the, measures, do, the measures, yeah. <laughs> do the measures say anything about what, in the, in the instance where a pirate were either you know, captured or, or were on board, what, what happens with them? Or can you speak from the U.S. perspective to what's happened to the pirates that have been captured so far? The New York Declaration itself does not speak to that topic. Again, it will be a topic of discussion at the plenary tomorrow. The United States' view is that if pirates are captured in the act, 
then there should be an effort made to call. Say a little bit about what uh, the uh, what might happen at the contact meeting tomorrow. What the U.S. might be hoping further actions might be taken. Uh, I think that would spoil all the suspense, don't you? The, we will discuss additional measures that we can use to build regional capability, that is, the capacity of the states in the region themselves to deal legally with the consequences of piracy. And I hope that we'll make some progress.